Hey builders, I'm Matt Hobbs and I want to introduce the Kyber Control RC Robotic Control System. This is a new system that myself and Stefan Balu have been designing over the past year. And what it does is it uses standard 2.4 RC transmitters to add an additional 15 buttons to your transmitter. Uh, the transmitters that we've tested so far are the Spectrum, Farsky, and the Futaba. Uh, there's several others that we're working on testing uh, that will be released at another uh, time. These all use SBUS com compatible receivers. So with adding these 15 additional buttons, it only uses one proportional channel of your transmitter. Um, this does require a modification of the transmitter, which is a minor modification that we'll go over a little bit later. Uh, this can be used to activate sound activations. You can either play one sound per button or you can play banks of sounds. Uh, you can also activate motions by controlling multiple uh, maestros to, uh, that are servo controllers. Uh, you can play motion and sound at the same time, so you can activate a sound and play a motion at the, with one push of a button. Uh, you can add an additional 15 button functions to the system by adding a two position switch uh, on your transmitter, just using one more additional channel, uh, and then you have a total of 30 buttons that you can use. Uh, this system accepts 5 to 36 volts, so no need to have a uh, voltage regulator to power this system up. And then it does have reverse polarity protection. Uh, this does provide power to the receivers for your smaller droids, so coming out of the box itself, plug directly into your uh, receiver, that will power up the receiver. And then you can have up to a 2 amp max draw, so you could use one or two small servos, uh, but nothing major on that side of things. Uh, the cool thing about this system are there, is there's zero programming skill needed. All the sound and uh, motions are tied to the buttons using a web interface through either your cell phone or a computer or a tablet. Uh, this Wi-Fi can be turned on and off through uh, using another two position switch on your transmitter. So this uses a total of three uh, channels of your transmitter if you go with the Wi-Fi function. Um, this does have an incorporated sound card, so it accepts up to a 32 gig micro SD card. Uh, this should support thousands of sounds and music. Uh, it does have an 8th inch audio jack out for easy connection to non-powered outputs. Uh, so this is for like hooking up amplifiers and speaker systems. Uh, it does also come with screw terminal jacks for connection to the onboard powered amplifier that's involved. And this can power up to two 3 watt speakers. Uh, it does come with volume control through the web interface. We may eventually add that onto the transmitter so that you can actually adjust your volume through the transmitter. And then it does have six equalizer settings to uh, help equalize your sound so that you don't end up with too ba much bass or treble through some of your systems. Uh, it does offer pass-through control for all the servos connected to the maestros. So you have the ability to connect uh, one to basically infinity, all the servos that you have connected to your maestros. Uh, so in this, you can take and tie, say, five different servos to one channel of your remote uh, so that you can move all five of those servos at one time. Uh, it does offer over-the-air software upgrades and channel assignments, so no more opening your droid to do additional programming or to upgrade the software. Uh, and this will come eventually with all of the operations manuals showing complete operation and come with several wiring examples to show you how to wire your system up. Uh, we'll go through a little bit uh, of the control system itself. So this is the web interface. Uh, when you first come onto the system, you'll be asked how many maestros you want to connect. If you don't have any, just put zero. Uh, and then you can choose to have a startup script play once your droid starts up. It can open all the doors, say for on R2 all at once, to make sure they close back and all the doors are closed. Or just leave that at zero for no scripts activated. Uh, this uh, button section allows you to tell the system how many buttons you have tied to the system so that you're only programming those amount of buttons. It does have a stop all function so that uh, if you're playing sound or motion and all of a sudden you need to stop that sound or motion, you just hit that button, it will stop all the motions. And then next you'll see that you've got all your volume controls uh, here. You can go uh, zero through 30. 
and then you can have a startup sound play whenever your uh, system starts up. Go to the next page. This is where you actually set your RC channels for the button pad where you've got it tied to uh, the toggle switch for toggling in between button bank number one and number two, and then a channel for choosing the Wi-Fi on and off. And then you'll see here where we've got where you can assign the different Maestro channels to the different channels of your RC system. This page allows you to actually uh, set the value of each particular button. So if you only select 10 in the beginning, you'll only be given 10. And then when you push a button on the remote, you get a live feedback that tells what that value is gonna be and you enter it into these zones so that our system knows exactly the value that you're gonna be uh, outputting when you press your button. In this page, this will allow you to actually set your button functions, give it a name. So if it's the R2 scream, it's here. It's uh, in position one or sound number one, and then sound number one. What that does is, uh, is tells it, it only you only want to play one sound. If you wanted to play multiple sounds, you could say, I want to play sound one through 10. It's going to start at sound one and then page all the way through 10 and then start back over. Uh, if you have maestros connected to your system, these will appear, and then you can tell it button one, I want it to play motion one on maestro one, and also motion one on maestro two. Uh, you can see that we've added delays here, so this is, allows you to, if you want the motion to start and then the sound to play, you can put a delay here in your sound or vice versa. Then you can go, you, this is just a quick update. I'll show you on the web settings. It starts in AP mode, which allows you to just basically, if it's in the on position, uh, the Wi-Fi is active. If you turn it on, you'll be able to see uh, that this system is available. And as long as you have this password, you can get on to the system. And then you could also program it to connect to uh, your home system. And then finally, we've got the, the firmware upgrade. So all of this is done over air. If we come up with a, a new version, we send you the version, you select it here and upload it, hit the upload button and that's it. It will upload to your system. This is the system itself. So we've got the little box here that shows the control system, nice and small. You can have it in the box or take it out of the box if you want a smaller, more compact system. Uh, it does have the powered speaker output, a programming port, micro SD here, and then you've got the 8th inch jack for your amp connections. You've got Espress, Maestro, and then uh, for an, a, something we're working on now is a dome position so that we can actually start adding in uh, motions while it's just sitting uh, still at a con. And then you also see the power inputs. This is an example of one of the transmitters that we'll be using. This shows the transmitter here. Uh, this is the 15 button transmitter uh, edition, and this is connected to a QX7. We'll look at doing additional ones once we uh, progress throughout uh, the design for additional remotes uh, as we go along. And then we have an additional system here. We'll go to this one. This is a 10 button remote. So the button control is actually inside the remote. Uh, and then you have two buttons on the front and then you have eight buttons on the back. This allows you to keep your hands on the sticks and then still be able to get to your buttons easily. The next one I have is the DX9. I uh, did this one for DO and for the scrubber droid. And what this does, is just allows me to keep my hands on the sticks and then have all the buttons on the front and on the sides of the remote where they're easy to get to. And then finally, this is one of the designs uh, for the power flow. So this shows the Kyber control system in the center, the power going here. Um, a system that I'm currently using for safety is the Pico switch, uh, which works with a solid state relay that actually provides power to your motors. Uh, and then you can see the dome motor and the sound amplifier. So out of the Kyber control, you just put power in, go out to your receiver, power that to the Pico switch, and then run your sound out to the amplifier and that's it. Everything else is wired just like your standard droids would be. Uh, so we'll do a quick little display of working with the, uh, what I've got on the, the uh, mouse droid here. And I've got two options with him. I'm using the 15 button. And then, so when we hit the sound, we'll cut the sound on. <coughs> OK, 
Okay? And then, so when we push a button, we will get the sound. And I've got several of those buttons programmed, and I also have some songs. And so you can see that's the stop all function there. So if something's playing, just hit the stop all and it will stop that sound. So if we go to swap out Bob and Frig, we can insert him in. We flip the switch and then we have Babu sounds. And then you still have the same, same music functions. So that's it for the introduction. Uh, we'll be coming out with a little bit more information a little bit later on as we progress and uh, see the interest of the groups uh, and just get some feedback from you guys. So please give comments below and let us know what you think. Thanks. Have a great day.